ready, fire, aim. <laughs> It'll make sense in a minute. This is the Think Your Reality Podcast, episode number 79. Hang on, here we go. Your destiny is by your design. Getting what you want in your professional life is gained by following a series of steps created by your mindset. Are you ready to start the journey? This is the Think Your Reality Podcast. Here's Mike Sims. Hey, it's Mike Sims, and I welcome you back to the podcast. And as always, I have to let you know how grateful I am for a minute or two of your time and hopefully encouraging you on uh, your way to the best version of you because I believe the world needs it, and I think you deserve it. What we're talking about is breaking the tried and true that we have lived by and changing the order in which we believe things must be done. Let's discuss. Ready, fire, aim is what we have been so accustomed to hearing or believing to be true, right? The chronological order of the way things should be done. This speaks to our preconceived plans, ideas, and ways of doing things that may not have provided the results we wanted. We have to take a different approach to our lives until we achieve the objective, even if that means changing up the order. It's a constant state of planning, pursuit, and persistence. I am guilty of doing the same thing and not understanding why it didn't work. It didn't. By that reason alone, it's time to break out of what I considered to be the norm. If you think about it, there is no norm in life. I mean, look at the world we live in. Things are in a constant state of change, and so should our lives be. Commit to not doing the same habits or tasks in the way you did and force yourself to do, see, and act on things in a different manner than you have in the past. It's an exercise that will make you feel a little uneasy, I will grant you, and it's designed to create a mindset of looking at and dealing with things in our pursuit differently. You're changing your mind. You're thinking your reality. The slightest degree of variation can make all the difference, and that difference comes from doing things differently than we have in the past. It's as simple as that. Take an ordinary function, but not one that's related to your goals, and try it, and do the same way you've always done it. Now, do the same task or the same function, but attack it with something that you would have thought to be in the past as unconventional, just a completely different way. Aside from feeling awkward, was there anything that sparked you that felt like it may have offered a better insight than the old way of doing it? It has a way of that happening. Now apply that practice to your goals and see what comes of it. Remember that it did not work initially is not an indication that it never will. Seeds naturally need time to grow. The word ready. I don't care for this word, especially in the line of pursuing your goals. People are always in a state of getting ready and never seem to be able to get off the launch pad. Being ready versus going off completely unprepared. Now, there's a fine line and one that needs to be considered and considered very carefully. But have a desired goal in mind and then walk toward it. You're not going to know the obstacles on the way and therefore cannot completely be ready for them. Go in the direction of your dreams and deal with the issues as they present themselves. You are capable of doing this. Knowing what you want most to accomplish is all the ready you will ever need. The benefit of stepping away from what has been believed to be the right way of doing things is that we are now no longer in a rut or a routine. If you look at it from the one degree of separation, meaning the slightest variation is many times all that is needed to get the desired results of your dreams. I liken it to you're in the right neighborhood. Now you just haven't found the right house. And I'll give you an example. Crepe Suzettes were born from an apprenticed chef making a mistake. The head chef made a slight variation on the mistake and hoped for the best. And if you know anything about culinary arts, which I do not, It turned out to be pretty well. It's not the time spent in preparation or getting ready as much as it is the results realized, and those results realized are by taking the steps. Don't get ready. Get going. Steps in the direction of your dreams is all the set you'll ever need. Fire. Fire constantly meaning take a lot of steps, a lot of attempts, a lot of fact-finding about yourself and what you're made of. The results will amaze you and give birth to more impressive gains in your life. My name is Mike Sims. This is the Thinking Reality Podcast. 
And as I always say, I hope you have an absolutely awesome day as I believe in the bottom of my heart, you deserve nothing less. Thank you so much.